Hello everyone. Hello, this is Kathy Jo. Hello, hi Suzanne. Hello. Thanks everyone for joining. <laughs> Hi, Suzanne. Okay, good. Now I know we're live. So uh, before we start with the project, I'd just like to uh, thank everyone for coming um, and just remind everyone about the Suzanne uh, Cannon uh, fan group that's on uh, Facebook. It's a great little group where um, uh, friends and uh, fans of uh, Suzanne uh, uh, share uh, projects or uh, in-process projects or uh, things that they're working on and uh, it's a great little place and uh, I really hope that if you're not a fan yet um, in the group then we'd love to uh, have you. Um, also feel free to check out uh, Quiet Fire Creations blog um, on the blog um, we post uh, a few times a week, at least, uh, sharing uh, different projects that we've created using Suzanne's uh, product on the Quiet Fire Digital blog. That blog is dedicated to all of Suzanne's awesome uh, digital files. And then there's the Elizabeth Craft Design blog. That um, on that blog we share uh, projects that use Suzanne's dyes, her clear stamps, and also stencils. Now we do a Facebook Live every Thursday. And um, if you miss a Thursday or if you want to uh, check out an old video, then uh, feel free to uh, go to the Quiet Fire Design um, YouTube channel. And um, if you're looking for the product that are used on the previous Facebook Lives and you want to find it quickly, then when you go to the um, Quiet Fire Design store, you can check out the new section called uh, Leathers Live. And that uh, has links to all the uh, product used on the Lives. While you're there, uh, feel free to check out the uh, newsletter too. If you haven't signed up yet, then uh, go ahead and sign up. It's a great little newsletter and um, uh, she doesn't um, bombard you with emails or anything like that in the newsletter. It's um, She um, will share about um, new product that's coming out and also um, uh, any sales. So it's great to sign up for the newsletter and check out what's going on at Quiet Fire. So as you can tell by these hands and voice that uh, uh, this is Kathy Jo this week doing the Facebook Live. Uh, Suzanne's on the other side. Uh, she's sharing the links and saying hi to everyone. So, hi Suzanne. Thank you very much. So, okay. Uh, this week's uh, project is a great little upcycling project. I love uh, doing upcycles. Uh, not only is it fun, but it's a great way to use some of the stuff that might have otherwise ended up going to. Um, recycling or um you know a second hand store or or uh you know the garbage really hate to see that especially when, we're, when we can do something cool with it so my friend uh, christine and i uh what we did on the weekend is we went to a second hand store and we were checking out the old um craft catalogs that were there so i came across a couple that they really um they really piqued my interest so I found old uh, Mary Maxim magazine, and it's uh, for crocheting. And then, and then I've also uh, found this one as Patton's one. Now, what drew me to both of these were the cool photos. So get a load of that photo. That's um, that that's family right there with the stocking caps. Like those are awesome. When you go to their larger photo like that's just great I love that that's just timeless and funny and just awesome it's like someone said hey you know look at that cool thing and like all of the entire family found a different direction to find something cool it's like so <laughs> it's so funny and so cheesy love it that is definitely going to end up on a project now this Mary Maxim I thought was uh, very pretty very elegant uh, the front of it is just gorgeous. And then when you thumb through and look at some of the other photos, hopefully you can see these. They're just timeless and just beautiful. And like this photo here would be um, 
great to to go on um, the card that I'm showing today. So what was in the center of this magazine was actually it was just a page and it had four pictures of uh, women with um, with different crocheted sweaters like there's this one here and there's this one here and there were two more and um, I thought that these were great like the images are just awesome and I thought that 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 these images would look great with uh, Suzanne's uh, stamp set So the stamp set that I'm talking about is, um, it's, I think it's called some Come Sit By Me. And um, uh, the stamp set, um, this is actually one stamp that I'm showing on the front today, but I've divided it up into two spots. So the first part of it, if, if you can't say something good about someone, I've created a little slider, sit right here by me. Like, that is so cheeky and so funny. And when I look at these two ladies, like, it makes me think that one of those would definitely, one of these women might definitely say that to me. Like, they look like they have some kind of secret, or they might be in the know about some kind of juicy gossip. So, it's perfect. I had to use, I had to buy that little magazine and use them on my card front. So... Just as a note, when you're when you're going to use an image from a magazine, you're going to want to reinforce it on the back with some card stock. So, because if you don't, then it'll just be uh, too flimsy. So, for both of these images, I cut them to size, and then I cut um, card stock onto the back of it, and um, I mounted them on. So, again, um, this stamp, this is actually one stamp here, but I divide it into two. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. Um, but first, let me um, go through some of the other supplies that I've used on this card. So besides the stamp um, and the image, um, you'll also need some coordinating um, pattern paper or pattern paper to go with the image, um, some cardstock to create your card base. You're going to need some ink, um, some double-sided tape, um, I used a leafing pin again. You don't have to. Um, tweezers. Um, one bow and a little piece of ribbon. I also used some gems. You will need some foam tape. A stamping platform. A um, guillotine or a cutter to cut your paper the size. And you'll also need some uh, removable tape, such as washi tape or like a paint tape. And, um, oh, I also use some flowers, too. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, with the stamp. Like I said, you can easily have it so that you just have the image on the outside with like the flowers next to it and then on the inside you just use the entire stamp that that looks great and um, or you could just have the entire stamp on the outside but what I wanted to do was I wanted to have the little slider because it adds a little bit more fun to the front of the card and also I wanted to show you all how to um, take this stamp and and uh, this one whole stamp and show how to do it into two separate pieces So on my stamp platform, I've already got my stamp situated on there. And uh, what I want to do is I want to only stamp the top. Whoops, I just moved that. Sorry about that. Okay, so I only want to stamp the top part right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of the tape and just kind of... Put it on just like that and I want to make sure that I'm not covering up the bottom uh, part of that uh, G there that should be good just gonna stamp this now 
Now you want to make sure too that before you stamp that you remove your tape because if not then you're still going to have black, black underneath your uh, stamp there. Underneath the uh, part of your quote, I mean. Oh, there is a cat hair right there. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that on there. Okay, so there's that part. And, oh, Kimberly Menard is watching. Hello, Kim. She is my best friend, and she's from my hometown. I'm so happy that um, that you're here, Kim. This uh, is funny because this stamp makes me think of us. <laughs> so what I've done is I've moved this. I'm going to take the stamp and just move it down just a little bit. Because if you keep it in the same spot, your stamp is still going to be very close to the top. The bottom quote of your bottom part of the quote is still going to be close to the top part. Let's make sure that I'm on there. Okay. So, so now I'm going to take the top part of this and just kind of put it right there. So again, I'm making sure to cover up on uh, this side, that bottom part of the G, and I'm making sure to not cover up the two um, H's there. So I want to make sure I show show off those beautiful flourishes. So I'm just going to stamp. Remove that. And there you go. So now we have it separated and we didn't have to cut it. And what I mean by cut it is, well, I actually mean it two ways. Um, you know, s some people might think, well, I could just stamp that out as one and uh, just cut it. But the thing is, the um, that flourish on the G and on the two H's, the top parts, they're very close in that line there and what might happen is and I'll show you an example here I cut off the bottom part of my G unfortunately when I tried it as one piece and then I also cut off the top of my uh, H's which I don't want to do that because I this stamp is beautiful and I really want to make sure the whole thing is showing so uh, you know you might say then well maybe I'll just cut the stamp in half you know it might be easier but this stamp is perfectly and beautifully laid out and you know you really don't want to cut the stamp so at least I don't think so um, because if you're like me um, you'll never be able to line it up again so it's perfectly to match this layout like it's perfectly done now or you might accidentally cut off um, one of the beautiful flourishes so just covering it up and doing it in steps that's that's a good way to make sure that your beautiful lay, beautifully laid out stamp um, stays intact and um, you have nice uh, clean images okay so now I've got this I've got uh, stamps laid the stamps uh, stamped out and uh, the next thing to do is is that you just cut the size. I won't show you how to do that. Um, so instead I'll just show you the results here. So I cut the first one to size and I put a gold leafing pin around it. You don't have to do that. I just kind of did that as a finishing touch. And then the first part of the quote I uh, cut the size, uh, put gold around it, and then I mounted it on coordinating craft card stock. So, I lost my image. Oh no, I lost my lady. Oh, here she is. <laughs> okay, so your card front, your card base is going to be dependent on your image and how you're going to do your stamps. So, uh, luckily, um, this uh, these two images were the same size. So, I I'm doing the same layout for both of them. I've got my craft uh, card base. 
I've got uh, coordinating uh, pattern card stock on top, which I, I also went around with the gold leafing pin. And then I put a ribbon of um, paper across there. And that's where my image, uh, that's where the second part of my uh, quote is going to slide through. Now, with this image, um, like a lot of other images in old um, craft magazines, it'll state right on the image uh, what the pattern is. And so I definitely want to cover that up. I mean, you don't have to, but it's in a great spot that I can easily do it. So what I found is, is that if you just kind of line up how you want to do your image, and then kind of put that down like that, yeah. And so, I couldn't, didn't know if I had restarted that. Just going to put a little bit of tape on there right now, just to kind of hold it in place. So I want my image like that. And just kind of line it up like that. So... That is now done. So that's the way it's going to lay out. The next step is to uh, put my slider in. So I don't want to go too far into uh, past the photo. I want to go about right there. I want to make sure I have enough room for my bow and the uh, flowers I'm putting on that. So I've got my layout. And I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm using a pen, but you might want to use pencil if you're using lighter color cardstock. And I'm just going around this. And so that is definitely my keep out area. I do not want to have any foam in this area. And I want to make sure too that I put foam on that edge. I want to make sure that there's enough space left there because what you don't want is for your slider to go all the way through. And I'm just going, I'm not going to go up to that line. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space out and um, so that uh, this way I have a little bit of a wiggle room if I don't lay my, uh, if I don't lay this image down exactly where it was before. Nails are very useful for removing paper off of your foam tape. Oops. Okay, so now I've got that on. I stand up to do this. Oh, I forgot to put foam underneath there. I knew I forgot a step. Yep, so make sure you have foam underneath uh, this part of it too. Okay, so next is the uh, slider portion of this. Now, we want to make sure that this doesn't uh, move around during transit or if it's sitting on someone's, you know, desk or table or something. Like, we don't want this to droop down. So the best way to do it is just to add a little bit of foam to this piece somewhere. Now, I originally put it um, behind uh, this part. And uh, what I realized afterwards is that it made it um, one uh, piece of um, cardstock uh thick and uh, it, it's not that it's a tight squeeze it's just that um, well it's it's a little tight actually like it, it goes out fine but I, I wished it wasn't as tight so then I realized on this one 
what I can do is I can make sure that um, when I put this on that I'm using foam tape to put this on underneath this part. So to get this size uh, of this part here, after I cut my stamped, uh, my, the stamp, uh, the quote, um, I, I took that size and I went just a little bit longer. Actually, I went out to about right here and I just kind of slid it in to see how far I wanted it to go. And then after I did that, I just kind of trimmed off what I didn't want. And then I ended up with this uh, length. It was a little bit of trial and error the first time around. But um, yeah, it actually, it's not uh, that difficult. It's just you just have to be uh, mindful of where you want it to stop. So um, what I did was after I did the craft card stock, I mounted the uh, pattern paper on top of it. And this time around, like I said, I'm going to put the uh, foam tape on the back of this. I'll put one more in the middle so it doesn't bend. Okay. piece of paper doesn't want to come off. Perfect. Okay, so I've got that. Oh, and I forgot to put my heat gun in. So let's see how well that slides in. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so next I'm just going to add a little bit of a ribbon around there. And so I'm using some seam binding. And I'm just going to just put a little bit of tape there. that a little bit off and my heat tool is definitely not ready yet so I'll use some of my glue here to put this on Okay, so I got that on there, and then next I'm just going to put a few uh, few flowers on just to add a little bit more detail to this. It'll take a few minutes to dry, but just kind of show what it's like in there. So used to using the uh, glue gun, I'm not used to uh, that. Isn't that cute? So you could just keep it like that if you wanted to. Um, I also add just a little bit of bling um, in that area and on there on uh, this card. Looks really cute. So look at those ladies. Retro, awesome. They look like they got some secrets to tell. And uh, yeah, they're just fun. That's just awesome. So what I like about this set too is, is that it goes with some um, other stamps that you might have of Suzanne's.
So I just went through and um, I found some other ones I liked. Like thinking of you, there's two sizes. So like those could go on the inside of your card. That'd be great. And then um, I love that you will always be my friend. Like that's a good one too. Like good friends will sit down and uh, chat with you and uh, share uh, funny stories or gossip. So uh, yeah, these are great little cards. Awesome little ladies. But uh, anyway, does anyone have any questions? Hi, Jean. Hi, Judy. Okay, well, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, if you guys uh, do decide to uh, do this project um, using some of your old crafty magazines or magazines that you just happen to find at a secondhand store, um, you know, feel free to share it on the uh, Suzanne uh, Cannon uh, fan group. But I love to see what you guys do. I mean, these kinds of these kinds of cards are so fun and so retro. They're just um, they're just great. I love to see what you do. Uh, so, uh, again, if you, um, if you guys miss a live, um, we do this every Thursday at, at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but if you miss one, uh, feel free to check out the, um, the old, uh, the, the previous, um, videos or lives on the uh, YouTube channel. Um, check out the, uh, blogs, the, uh, Creation Digital and ECD, and then, uh, uh, don't forget to uh, uh, find the uh, product on the uh, Leather's Live, the special section in the store. And if you haven't signed up yet, um, feel free to sign up for the newsletter. It's a great little newsletter. So thank you all for um, stopping by. Um, I hope you enjoyed the project and have a happy crafty day. Bye.